Hey everyone, welcome to the notes for enzymes. We are going to take our mega sheet and we are going to fold it into four squares. And these notes are going to take up one of these squares, it doesn't matter which, um, just pick a square. And this is where we're gonna summarize information about enzymes. So enzymes are, um, if you will recall from unit one, a uh, type of protein. So that does mean that they are made of amino acids um, and they will have the four levels of protein folding that we discussed in unit one. So your primary, secondary, uh, tertiary, and quaternary just like we did back when we were talking about the macromolecules. So what enzymes are, are they are organic catalysts. Um, and you may recall from your chemistry days that a catalyst will speed up chemical reactions. Um, and the way that they do that, by the way, uh, reaction I'll just abbreviate as RXN. Um, the way that they do that is that they lower the energy of activation. Um, and so that energy of activation um, is the amount of energy that's required to overcome um, the, think of it like the starting hill of a reaction. Uh, many times you will see me writing them, or uh, writing it as E sub A, so energy of activation. So enzymes, um, what they will do is they will lower that energy of activation. At the end of the chemical reaction, they are reused. Um, and can do the same job over and over and over again. Now, the way that these uh, enzymes work has to do, all to do with their structure. Um, and so this is another case of when structure is very important um, in biology to function. Um, because what happens is the, subs the enzymes will uh, bind to um, substrates. And the substrate is what the enzyme is going to act on. So I'm going to abbreviate the substrate as S, my enzyme as E. And at the end, you're going to end up with a product. Now, when we're looking at these reactions, the way that we are going to write them is when your enzyme plus your substrate bind together, you will have a temporary transition phase known as the enzyme substrate complex. So it's your enzyme and your substrate together. And then what you have are the products that are released plus the enzyme that is able to be reused. So once again, you have your enzyme plus your substrate will bind together to form an enzyme substrate complex. That's when the two are actually interacting. Then when it is released, the, the substrates are released, they actually form your product, and then you have your enzyme that is ready to be reused again. Now, the, the substrate will bind um, to the enzyme in a location that is known as the active sites. Okay, that is where the, the substrate actually enters into. And there's two different models uh, or two different theories on how these enzymes uh, function. We have what is known as the lock and key model. Just like you guys saw in the video, and the lock and key model is that one en an, an enzyme will fit a specific molecule and they fit together like a lock and key. The other one is the one that we did in class Let's try spelling that correctly. Induced fit. Okay, and in this case, what we're looking at is when the enzyme will change its shape slightly to fit the substrate itself. There are two types of enzymes that we are going to be looking at. Catalase, um, the one that we did our lab in class, um, is what's known as a catabolic enzyme. The other type is known as an anabolic enzyme. So catabolic enzymes build, or I'm sorry, break, um, and anabolic enzymes break down. Now the key thing that you want to look for anytime you're looking for enzymes, the clue is going to be the suffix A-S-E. So catalase, transcriptase, or reverse transcriptase. 
dehydrogenase. We're going to look at many other examples, but anytime you see ASE at the end of a molecule, chances are it's going to be um, an enzyme, which are your proteins, your organic catalysts. Thanks for watching.